Okay, hello. Long time no see again. I said I would be back and then I disappeared. Kind of my motivation for uh, a lot of games was at a standstill for a bit. Just sort of uh, not too interested in doing much of anything. And then I got really back into doing a little bit of Valheim here and there. Uh, so a lot of a lot of uh, stream motivation and stuff is going there. And so I decided I'll, uh, I'll record, uh, I'll record a good deal of the quality run, and maybe I'll go back to streaming it at a later point, but, uh, I want to show you some cool things that I did. Bunch of, bunch of neat stuff that I got. I decided Heavy Curve the Great Club. Curve Great Club's gonna be the thing that I leveled up. Uh, I also found out <laughs> where the large club was. I could have gotten this way earlier. And just used this for the uh, Limgrave Caves, which I really should have done. That was a mistake. And then I picked up a bunch of just regular other stuff. Like I grinded the Crescent Moon Axe from uh, Stormvale Exiled Men and uh, Heavy Great Axe. You just get that from a, uh, uh, what is it? A uh, coffin chest in, in Limgrave, just across the bridge. I'll show you where I get all these things. Just pickaxe from the uh, the guys. Yeah. Upgraded all these things. I also got the twin blade. Heavy twin blade. Love the twin blade. Oh yes. A lot of fun with that. Just, I love it. I love it so much. But mainly going to run around with uh, heavy curved great club. I love this thing. Curved great club. Or the uh, great club moveset. It's really, really fun. Yeah, I just really enjoy that. So I'm going to go here. I'll just show you where I got certain things. Uh, I could have also farmed out the long haft axe. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Not. I don't know how, how uh, much I'm going to use great clubs and all that. Well, not great clubs. Uh, great axes. I don't know. I'll have to see. I could have also bought the Zvi, but uh, maybe I'll do that later. Hmm, this wasn't it, but it's close. There's an area behind Darewell there. Come on, game, I believe in you. Here it is. So you drop down around here. I forget if it's over there or what. It's been a minute since I prepped and played. I think it's somewhere around here. Somewhere down around here is where you uh, you get the great club. So that's cool. Definitely gonna use the curved great club. Yeah, but it's there. Uh, pickaxes I got in Limgrave Tunnels. Let's see, Limgrave Tower Bridge just going around here, killing the Crescent Moon axe guy over and over again. That's how I got that. And let's see. I wanna go here now. There are a couple dungeons that I want to go to in clear so that I can go get all of my uh, all of my goods in Lyurnia early Lyurnia. Yeah. Let's see everything good here. Do I want to mess around with uh, any weapon in particular for this cave? I think this is fine. I think that's fine. Question is, what do I have here? Strength and charge attack power. I'm not really going to be using my... Oh no, I have Barbaric Roar. I can use charge attack power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Not going to put Blood Flame Blade on this weapon. Maybe not. I could do Blood Flame Blade Storm Collar, but that's better on a bleed weapon. Like the uh, Vulgar Militia Saw. I upgraded that to plus 8. So I could totally do that. Not ideal, though. We'll have the best of both worlds soon enough.
Okay, this is one of the caves that I want to go in. Inevitably, when the build becomes quality, I'm going to have a certain twin blade that I'm going to really want the talisman for. And that talisman is dropped by the boss in here. Now, I really just hate this place, so I'm going to rush on through. Jump here. Just keep going. Pardon my stick drift. Might need a new controller soon. We're gonna jump. Just keep it running. Yeah, just keep moving. Through. Drink. Val. Uh, do I have the Roar Talisman on? No. But that's fine. Let's relax. Big boys. Yep, he's just dead. Definitely a little overgeared for that fella, but that's fine. I want it to be. Gotta give him the old crushy, crushy, crushy. Okay, now we can just fast travel out back to, uh, let's see, last gear? Let's go to last gear. Alright, here we are in last gear. Yeah, that was a great, great crushing. So the talisman that we just got. Wing Sword Insignia. Love this. Raise attack power with successive attacks. Super nice. Really good with uh, Twin Blades. Yeah, super nice. Really happy about that. We will have a uh, even better Ash of War for the Twin Blade than repeating, or not repeating thrust. Uh, impaling thrust. Soon enough. Soon enough. There's a cave over here that I want to visit. It's one of these. There it is. Let's turn this on. I love these dungeons. You gotta find the right dungeons for them to be pretty memorable. Luckily, a lot of good loot are in the memorable dungeons and not in the trash dungeons. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. He's got some more fellas up here. Those uh, little fellas can drop the Great Knife, which... Not bad on, like, an arcane build or such. It's got innate bleed. Yeah, definitely want to focus on the little guys. They got a grab attack, which is real nasty. Uh, not nasty because of the damage, but from soft grabs can be pretty janky. Oh, come on. Yeah, I just turned my brain off with that. So there's another talisman in here that's really nice. Here we are. Let's go take you out. Shit. There we go. Now we have big mamba. Uh-huh. Oh, please, little fella. Oh, I took him out. Okay. Thank you, giant hitbox. Everybody's just catching strays. Yeah, spear talisman. Very nice. So now, the uh, counter damage on the physical, only physical thrusting damage, it gets a buff, and it's nice. So if I wanted to do uh, Impaling Thrust with Twin Blade, I could use that. 
and the winged sword insignia and just slash away. Or pierce and then slash away. Pierce, pierce, break stance, regular attack when the enemy staggered for all sorts of DPS. Real nasty damage. Of course, put some sort of grease on that, like a bleed grease or something. When did you get there? When did that guy get there? Let's head down here. Yeah, I love these these open caves with decent light. There are also some really nice late game caves that are super memorable. Yeah, look at this. The crystals down there. Yeah. I remember hearing everybody, like every basic review on YouTube going over Elden Ring. It's like, oh yeah, dungeons weren't really memorable. It's like, Okay, yeah, like some of the shitty ones, sure. But a lot of them over exaggerate way too much. They're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, it's like one or two dungeons. Like, bro, no. I, I have like my favorite one and two dungeon. You know, they're all late game, but like, come on, man. These dungeons are fucking sick sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys aren't waking up. No, no, no. Just feels like they ain't playing enough Elden Ring, you know? Like, look at this shit. Oh, it's beautiful. Of course, it helps that I'm a big, uh... Big crystal fan IRL. Collect a lot of rocks and shit. For no other reason than that. Rocks are cool. Love getting the smithing four. Fuck yeah. How many smithing fours do I have now? Two? Nice. So two more and I can get a plus 11. Gotta be real careful here. Ow. Bastards. Okay, I should have learned my lesson. There we go. So here, you know, wide open room with nothing in it. I wonder what that could be, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, I feel like, like, cave-wise, uh, how many, uh... Oh my god, look at that stick drift, dude. That's such a problem. Oh, it's just going. I need a new controller, man. But yeah, like, ca yeah, cave-wise already, Limgrave Tunnels, I remember that, you know, uh, Rye Lucarian Crystal Tunnel, that's always fire. Uh, the other tunnel, like Academy Crystal Cave, that's fire, that's a fun one. Especially for, like, mages, get that Terra Magica. Uh, jail tunnel, jail cave, both of those are cool. Of course, ruin stream precipice, which yet to do. This tunnel, this one, super cool. Lakeside crystal cave, so nice. Uh, still water cave is memorable, but I don't enjoy it. And then it's just like, okay, that's far more than two. And there's even, even, like, way, way more that are cool. Uh, of course, if they were, like, relatively more infrequent, I think I would enjoy that a little bit better because of the dev time spent into it. Oh, the Cliff Bottom Catacombs is fucking sick. Like, around here-ish? Here. I love that place. That's so, so nice. I'm gonna do a pro game remove to speed this process up. You can see the HP just rapidly going up as I manually mash in the corner. Yep. Button mashing. Ooh, there we go. Alright. Oh, let's go Axe Talisman. I actually don't want to go Axe Talisman as much. For this guy, I want Jump. And I'm not going to really use Barbaric Roar. I think I'll just do Blood Flame Blade, actually. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here's the boss area. Let's go here. Vow. Blood Flame Blade. 
Probably should have swapped to the Vulgar and Militia Saw, but that's okay. He's real squishy. Oh my god, we're both terrible. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it didn't stagger him. Yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> oh, my weapon's just too strong right now. That's fine. Experienced players should just crush some of these bosses, and that's okay. I didn't get the repost. That was such, such an unfortunate thing. I also didn't think I would just stagger him in one hit. They squishy. Hello, you two. I'm not going to talk to you right now. They'll be angry with me, being like, you trying to kill me? No, no, I'm not. Nah, I ain't. Nope. Uh, where's the item? Here it is. That's nice rune arc. Okay. Do I do the Everjail? No. But I do want to go up to the southern Lingarnia section. I think there might be something interesting up there. I'm not 100% sure, but... I'm going to check it out. Ooh, got a lot of runes. Do I have the, uh... No, I don't have enough. Alright. I could do the Ever Jail. Just for shits and giggles. I'm not gonna fight every boss in here. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't think this guy staggers. I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll just do that. Everything is good here. Cool thing about this boss is that you can just... Uh, you can just go in. And, I mean, it's the same with every every jail boss. You can just go in and, like, just buff up. Because they're chilling in their little, little extra jail. Uh-huh. Yep. It's pretty strong. What's my stats? 596 already. Fuck yeah. Not gonna, not gonna use that spell. I would definitely use it on a faith character for certain bosses that can be like knocked down. That's pretty cool. But no, not for my quality build. Yeah, that thing is strong. I think what did I say like a while ago that it was like a uh, plus ten, but no, it's really like a plus twelve and a half. Okay, what is the item down here somewhere, right? Dropping down right by, uh, what's-his-face? The nomadic merchant or what have you. I think it's just a sack twig. I don't think it's a serious item. I'm not gonna get it. I can hear the fellas, not the same fellas, because they don't give as much runes and they don't deal as much damage and they also don't have death and death on them. I forget what item this is. Let's go grab it. Some fellas trying to ambush. Oh, ballista bolts. That's actually really useful. Okay, let's go kill these clowns. It's really bad. I wanted to hit all four of them. Just one shot them, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. Mmm. Too juicy, man.
Let's just rush in. Don't let the buff run out. You know what I'm saying? Don't okay. care. Just okay. Maybe I should care. Love that the blue is back. Yeah, Fire Moist Prayer Book, not bad. Okay. Alright. Pretty good. Now we got Leerny at nighttime. Those dudes drop sick armor. I love the Fire Monk chest piece. Let's see. Got everybody good here. Ooh. I don't. Okay. I was pondering becoming Mr. Evil. You know what I'm saying? Because he drops a really good item, but... No, I'm not going to do that. Yet. Temple Quarter. Did that. I don't have the, the key, do I? Oh, I totally do. Sick. Love that. Let's go through. We can at least get some free loot. We don't have to go into Raya Lucaria proper. But there's some good stuff there. I can just sneak on through. First of all, should have enough runes to just pop and level up. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Love that. Oof, what do I level up? A lot of pretty sick stuff that I can level up. These two are fine for the rest of the game. Do I just go f for more damage? No, probably more health. Oh yeah, 40 more health. That's getting to a decent point. Through I go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Alright. Cool thing is there's stuff down there and there's stuff over here. Some mistake is just to... Just to uh, tap on the seals, you know, and you get teleported. But no, there's there's stuff over here. There's actually stuff to do. There's like this summon sign, the golden seed. Don't want to miss out on that. All right, you can't make that jump. I tried it. You die. It's sad. Three seeds? Oh, I think I can, uh... I think I have a new... Flask. That's hype. Let's go get that new flask and then I'll touch that red summon sign. Let's see if I can't, uh... Change up my physic, too. At least a charged attack one. Uh... Green spill, yeah. Just for now. Oh, no, 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 I know, I know what. I know what I should do, specifically for this guy that I'm about to fight. Uh, I should have Opaline. Otherwise, everything's pretty sick. Alright, Yura, let's go. I'm coming to save you. Or whatever. Golden Man. Yeah, they deal like no damage to each other when you're not in decent proximity. It's the same thing with like every mob fight with each other. It's just like... Okay. 
<laughs> Come on. No way. You didn't even use Raptor of the Mists on me. What do you mean? So I have Opaline here because uh, this this person, the Raven Mount Assassin, has an Ash of War called Raptor of the Mists, which uh, usually they just use that uh, frame perfect because it's an NPC. They'll dodge your attack and then counter attack. And the thing is, okay, let's calm down your. <laughs> Dude, you invaded them. What are you talking about? Anyway, uh, the, <laughs> the thing is, you, you have uh, th this move here, which uh, the Raven Mountain Assassin will dodge the first one, but there's significant delay for the second and third hit. So you just absolutely crush the Raven Mountain Assassin with the second and third hit with that lightning, the ice lightning. And then the counterattack that they dealt to you is mitigated so largely by the bubble that you're just chilling. It's like, okay, yeah, I've hard countered your hard countering. You know? So I've, I've outsmarted your outsmarting. What's up? What's up, Euro? Yeah, give, give, give. Smithing five, fuck yeah. That's my second smithing five. So if I get, uh, what is it? Eight more fours, then I can immediately go all the way up to, uh, plus 13 on a weapon? Yeah. Which is just so strong. That would make my whatever weapon, Heavy Grey Club, uh, stronger than, uh, would make it stronger than. My, uh, my halberd here, which is, abs it's weird to think about. It's like, this, that shouldn't be right. But it's totally right. Like, usually somber weapons are just so much stronger than regular weapons. I might fix that, though. I might go change that real soon. Zoom past the wolves, no reason to fight them. Whew, almost jumped off the edge there. Hey, Nomadic Merchant, what's good? Or maybe you're a Hermit Merchant, I don't know. Isolated Merchant, my bad. So he's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, Trains Lilies are good. Storm Sword Keys are good. I can't really buy any of it right now. This uh, this is actually really good because it has all the sleep stuff. Just so good. Lost Ashes of War I don't really use, but it's there. Uh, it's really good for like PvP, I guess. Or invasions, both of them. Uh, Tr Saint Trina's arrows. I'll buy all of those. Oh, I can't really buy all of those. Yeah, the, it, it's it's all good. Like this is good. That's good. Like so much of the stuff is good. If you want to do an int build or even just like casting sorceries, like you can do that on a faith build. This, you gotta buy this. You gotta buy the fanged int ashes and you gotta upgrade them because. That's how you get the Grave and Mass Talisman in the late, late game. By, with this Spirit Ash. Yeah. So, you need that. Uh, it's also just a really good Spirit Ash. Uh, when I did my, like, second run, I did, like, no Mimic tier. But I still tried out the Fang Dimp Ashes just to see what I was missing out on. And they're really good. Like, they're so good. What's up, dude? Oh, come on. Oh my god, they're so weak. They're so weak. They have glass cannons, but that guy dealt like no damage. He was just like glass. It's just glass. I love that expression, though. You, your build's not a glass cannon, it's just glass. Like I see... <laughs> There's this one Elden Ring uh, quote-unquote guide video. Where it's just a horribly optimized, uh, quote-unquote, glass cannon build. People in the comments just calling them out on it. Just being like, this is, just, this is not just glass cannons, this is just glass. It's so fucking funny. Okay, uh, I could kill dragon. Do I want to kill dragon? I think I do, just for, like, lore stuff. Do I already have a dragon from, uh, did I fight Eggkeel? 
I think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'll, I'll fight Agil now. Alright. Uh, seaside Ruins. I just want to fight him to see the, uh, the testing on the uh, Halberd. Because it deals extra damage to dragon type enemies. Which is super cool. No jump attack. Oh, I don't have Lance Talisman. That's okay. Uh, let's just do this. That's fine. Like, the stam regen is just so good. The damage should already be obscene, so that's fine. Let's go here. Ooh, I should change Physic. I think I want to do charge R2s once I stagger the bastard. I'm not 100%. I'm really not 100%. Uh, no, no, I should just do more stam. That would be more helpful. Charge R2s are are good though. Oh man. Yeah, I'll do I'll do charge R2s actually. I think I'll be like off horse charge R2ing, uh, like legs and shit. Ashes of War. No, no, no. Physic. Okay. The beautiful thing about certain repeat enemies is. Uh, a, you get the chance to see the full move set, which is super cool. Uh, but B, you get the chance to like actually perfect your uh, playstyle and build that you're going for. Of course, the multiple runs it's good for, but multiple enemies it's just it's just better because you can do it in the same playthrough. Val. Let's go, perfect timing, my man. Okay. Let's go. Oh, shit. I literally just barely rolled. Elden Ring's got, uh... Rolls on release. Shit. And not rolls on press. So when you release the button, the roll inputs. Which means you have to roll a little bit early. Shit. Oh, come on, Agil. Stagger, why don't you? I would have killed him if I just did the spinning slash move normally. Oh, I should have went for the head there. Okay, up. Not that way, this way. Shit. Oh! Punished. 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 Heavy punish. That was bad. I also don't know how he didn't stagger. I have no clue how he didn't stagger from any of that. It is beyond me why they didn't include a uh, stagger bar. Also, just for, like, status shits, like status bars. They went backwards in terms of UI instead of forwards. It's so confusing to me. Okay. Should've went for the head again. That's just such a bad habit for me with dragons. Oh, fuck. Check the damage, dude. Oh, roll too early. God, couldn't roll in time. Staggered him. Staggered him. I can just charge him too, right? Yeah. 841 on that. Alright. Much better fight. And yeah, the damage is so good. Okay. Now I can go fight Samarag. Somebody, uh... So, a dragon that's more... You know, you know pick, pick on one your own size type deal. Except he's the same size. He's just a little stronger, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I still want the same sort of vibe. I want to get closer. Maybe I should haunt up. Yeah. Let's go here. Uh huh. 
Oh, you motherfucker. How do you just like raise your head that fast? Oh, okay, bud. Thank you for the roar. Love that. Oh, no! I knew that was gonna punish me. Give me the wing tip. Shit. What's he doing? Slam. My haunts got hit hard. Mm -hmm. Fuck. No, no, don't log on. Or, uh, don't lock on. Okay, he's going over there. We gotta follow because he's gonna do a little breathy breath. And his breath is not fucking weak, let me tell you. Stagger him still. Oh, complete whiff. That sucks. Fuck. Ah. Torrent. No. Filthy mage. What am I saying? I love mage. I love running mage. Oh, what type of hit lingering hitbox, bro? Yes. As far as I'm concerned, that extra input for the UI with Torrent should not be a thing. Come on. Let's go. He's gonna do the breath. Really cool. And he's dead. All right. Didn't stagger him. That's such a damn shame. Oh well. Another dragon heart. Nice runes. And then you get smags. Glintstone breath, which is absurd on a like arcane with decent amount of faith, especially for invasions. Just unfair. It's fucked up. I mean, even like. You would expect a lot of uh, co-opers to pick that up, but uh, no, no, definitely not. It seems like a lot of co-opers in this game is just honest PvE, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, you probably don't know what I'm saying. Oh, man, it's hard to explain the term honest, how it, how it, like what it means in this community, it's really weird. Uh, I guess, like, just honest would be, like, <sighs> oh, it's tough to describe. Just means uh, you're not running anything deliberately absurd, you know? Ooh. Like you're not you're not dipping into the extreme tier and then like LARPing as just like a normal co oper you know what I'm saying? Like yes, me. I, the, uh, I'm a totally real totally real person here. It's like no y y I know you like decked out with everything. You know, over leveled phantom dot JPEG. Um let's see. I think now I wanna do Albanarik's village. That's a fun time. Let's see, let's go. I'll do Stormcaller, uh, Vulgar Militia Saw. Blood, blood, blood. Okay, this is an interesting place. Miyazaki should have just stuck to this type of poison swamp where it's literally just you can just ride your horse through it, but if shit happens, shit happens. And instead, uh, I think this might have been like a decision from uh, some other executive, because guaranteed Miyazaki was just like, no, but what if I do like regular poison swamp that I want? And it's like, 
nobody fucking wants that, Miyazaki. But, like, the executives have to be much more polite than that. Because he's the damn president of FromSoft now. And, uh, yeah. Walking on eggshells, and they're like, oh, well, what if we compromise? And, uh, we can have your poison swamps, and also the poison swamps that we would want. It's like, oh yeah, sure. And now we have, like, double the amount of poison swamps. Fun times. Yeah, so all these Albanarchs here have been killed, uh, and then a lot of fucked up feeble ones have been left to uh, survive, I guess. Yeah, it's a, it's a real problem. Let's back up. They were weirdly fast. Please no. I hate how fast they are. Let's not do that. Oh, they're so fast. So we're allied to Nefeli. And she's like, oh, justice, justice. We bring justice to the oppressors. Or, or, or you know, we're gonna... We'll do the this village right. And these people are still, like, existing and suffering. But then... You know, we go five feet into it, and then these people just start attacking us. You think she would just get up and be like, hey, 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 hey. Like, let's fucking relax. Like, this person's with me. Everybody's cool. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. And then we could just, like, walk through. And, like, try to deal with the problems that the Albanaric village has. But no. No, she doesn't get up at all. She's not coded to do that. It's a very uninteresting aspect of Nefeli, I guess. Storm call. You just uh, 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 uh. the depraved perfumer, perfumer, yeah, perfumer, that I just absolutely shat on, is a mob that gives a lot of people fucking problems, and I just storm called it, and it was no issue at all. Hey, we have an actually cool guy. What a goofy fella. Please leave me be. No, I'm not gonna leave you be. You're not one of them. Well. What do you mean one of them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whoever uh, did voiceover for Albus, I, I love the style. Of course, uh, the Elden Ring voice directors fucking fire. Like there's there's no. Uh, there's, there's hardly, like, a good uh, sense of uh, voice acting without a good voice director. Like, I remember I was interested in voice acting. I still am, but, like, more focused on this right now. And a family friend of mine was just like, Oh, yeah, like, give me a voice then. Like, do a voice for me. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? He's like, oh, yeah, be an old man. Like... An old man. Like, what kind of old man? Like, what do you mean? Like, what is, like... But I couldn't think to be, like, like, direct me. Like, voice, have proper voice directing. I was just like, uh, no, no, I can't really do that. Like, like, sure, I can do an old man voice, but, like... That's not... I don't have any direction. What are the specifics? What are the, what is the emotion? What is the situation? What am I supposed to be doing? And I, I could tell he had this look of like disappointment, like, oh no, you're not gonna, just, just no way. Uh, it, you know, looking back at him, just like that doesn't ex like express any like lack of quality of voice on my own part. Like, like I've heard myself, I know what I sound like. I revel in my own deep depth of voice, you know. So. Look, Mick, he's just it's such an odd, like, reflection. Like, yeah, I, I could still be a voice actor, but you could never be a voice director. <laughs> it's just like, uh, this was a, uh, what is it? This teardrop scurb was a uh, health flask one, so. not Nothing to sweat about. Let's drop down here.
So there's some cool stuff somewhere. Yeah, here's the dog. Let's see if I can't switch out my tall talismans for this. So hand ballista. Let's go. Arrows reach. Perfect. Let's go again. Absolutely wonderful. So now we just have Mr. Uh, Rolo here. I don't know if anybody's had Rolos before, but I'm a big fan of Rolos. Love me some Rolos. Let's go back here, get things set up buff wise. Kind of scuffed the timing a little bit, but that's fine. Let's go. Come over here. Come over here. No shot, I'm just bullying him. No way, I didn't even get to use Stormcaller. He had no poise, he's got no poise. No poise. Holy shit. What's my stats looking like? 386, nice, dude. How much fire? 43. No poise, man. Ah. Oh. Man. Some of these bosses, I wish they got staggered uh, a little bit easier just because I really want to, you know, I want to use my ultimate move or whatever. I want to do my style. And uh, they're not letting me because they die too, die way too early. Way too easily. They're just like, oh, I'm dead now. It's like, no, I was interested in like doing things, actually. Damn. Okay, there's one more spot here that I want to go to. Yeah, there's down there, and then there's over there. Let's hop down. Hmm. Let's relax. Okay, y'all. Let's not. Damn hitbox. Come on. I don't want to go into the ground. I just want to go out. Like that. Just like that. Okay. This is all good. Yeah, it's all good. Is there any item that I wanted over here? Or am I good? I know I want to cross the bridge. I thought that the rebel from breaking that box was a uh, dog attacking me. And then I remembered there's no dog there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck was that frame? Whoa. Elden Ring. That is like the first major performance issue I've ever had with Elden Ring. Let's calm down, game. I'm crossing a bridge. I've never had frame problems on that bridge before, ever. Okay, there should be a dude somewhere. There you are, you beauty. You already know what time it is. It's anti-bird technology, except it's anti-dude technology here. Yep. <laughs> this is literally deleted. Oh, hi. Oh, come on. He can't even walk. What do you mean? That's more like it. Let's go back to jump attacks. Love that so much. So there should be an item around here. Not going to use it, but... Oh, there it is. Right at the edge. 
Crystal Sword. Not something I'm going to use. It's one of the 15 million mage swords that you get in Liurnia. I used exactly zero of them in my int playthrough because there are better things to use. I also don't think that uh, it's terribly interesting on an int playthrough to use that. Okay. I think I want to storm call a certain somebody back at the round table. It's like, round table? Attacking somebody at the round table? Really? Yeah. Yeah, you'll see. Ooh, round table. Looking different. Why did I invade like that? Something's gone awry. Hi, Encha. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Good old Stormcaller, huh? He tried. Great enemy, my ass. Oh, he tried, he tried. Clinging Bone. It's an Int Arcane? No. It is a magic damage arcane weapon. Super weird. Yay, Royal Remains stuff. It's cool, I guess. Can I wear it? I can. Yeah, it looks fucking sick. Looks cool. Let's get the proper view. Oh yeah. Nice combo. It's looking a little odd with my with my pants. What's up with that? How's this? It's a little better. Oh, the pants is, is probably hanging down from the Royal Remains set. Yeah. Like if I go back to scale, I can't really I can't really tell with that. Let's just remove that. No, that, those are part of the pants. What the hell? Ooh, exile. Ah, uh, no, but that the fashion is terrible with the exile. But the armor is good. Look at that. That's not bad. But I look so goofy. Uh, it's difficult. It's so difficult. So very difficult. How do I look here? That kind of fits. That fits the fashion. Get to see my nice eyes. Kind of cool. This fits. I'm like a little protective turtle. Except I'm very deadly. Uh, I know that... Ooh, I think... What, how would how that double exile? What does double exile look like? Just the same. Just I just look like an exile guy. I don't know. I like Royal Remains. The black and gold fashion's really cool. Yeah, this is pretty sick, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, do I want to wear Royal Remains Greaves? Immunity, robustness, focus. I don't know if I want that. I think I want the better poise, too. Yeah. I mean, it probably looks way better. No, actually, I don't think it does. Okay. How about this? No. I... Does not look terribly good. Go back to Godric Soldier. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's fine. How my stats looking? Not bad, right? 23? Yeah. That ain't bad. Especially considering I'm going more for uh, Big Beefy. Let's see. Oh, I'm, I got Heavy Load right now? That sucks. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's just go back to Chain. No, that looks awful. That looks so bad. Vulgar militias looks better, but... God, it looks... I don't know. I could probably buy Knight's Leggings, right? What do we got? Yeah, I totally can. They're like decent armor, too. Oh, I'm heavy load again. No! That sucks. 
Ey. What do I do? I could go grab scale gauntlets or scale leggings. I think from this guy. Let's give it a look. I'll give it a I'll give it a check, you know? What do we got? Try hey, again. try it again. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, leather trousers, that's what it's called. Quick check, my man. Yo, 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 yo. Slick, pretty clean. It's pretty cool. From the back, look good. Yeah. I love the way the light, like, hold on, let's get a view over here. The light reflecting off of the black almost makes it look a little green in some instances. And that's fucking cool. It's a really nice color palette, I think. Yeah, I think this looks great. And my resistances went down a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not trying to get hit terribly much. I know I can trade a bit, but I still want to overall dominate the enemies. Let's just sort the chest a little bit. Get all the nonsense out of there. Not using Ivory Sickle, it's Int. Int. Uh, this is an extra arcane. Looks like everything's good. Okay, I want to go back to round table. I want to see what Gideon has to say. And then I have one more boss to kill and I can call this episode over. Yeah. Seems, as his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some... This shit's funny as hell. ...to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albanard... Find the Albanard woman. Everybody's favorite line from Gideon. Find the Albanard woman. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Find the Albinor woman. Yep, find the Albinor woman. And then you can just keep asking him that infinitely. And if you're just mashing through the dialogue, you'll just hear him say it over and over again. And that's just, it just gets in your head. Like why they don't remove the dialogue option, I don't know. Just let people figure things out for himself. That's what you do for almost everything else. Alright. So we already know where the Elven Arc woman is. He's really no help in that situation. Ah. Uh, here we go. Hello, Elven Arc woman. You actually have a name, though. Foul tarnished. Oh my god, shut the fuck up with this foul tarnish shit. I could destroy you in a heartbeat, and I will do no such thing because I am not foul. Was my other half not enough? Do you speak true? I have no voice lines. I don't speak anything. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm the tenor. Hello, Latena. The same as old Albus. Yes. If you talk to Albus more, he'll just die. I so I let him live. You're welcome. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that old hero brute, I hope that you will forgive me. Sure, yeah. Uh, we can put the pieces together now. It's Gideon who sent the uh, Omen Killer after her, Latena, and. Him and the dogs 
and presumably Encha as well, ended up slaughtering the entire village. Yeah. Pretty cringe. Cringe cringe genocide, almost. Yeah. Terrible. Fuck you, Gideon. Hmm. He's like, oh, Encha got ahead of himself, yeah? Hmm. Oh, he got ahead of himself, so you were going to order him to kill me anyway, huh? Great service. Great. I must go back. There was something I must do. Even if I must Original name. For a wolf. Will you show me the way? To the land of Nicola's Halig tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts that the medallions are. Hell yeah. You're more helpful than Gideon. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the earth tree. In Castle Soul, on the mountain tops of the giants. <laughs> this is so f beyond far away. In gameplay terms, it's absurd. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful... Oh yeah, her dog's been dead, by the way. She's just been hanging out. It's probably been, like, accruing all sorts of gas, bloat, rigor mortis is set in. It's about to, like, explode maggots are, like, in there. Alright, we get a cool Ash of War. Not Ash of War. Spirit Summon that, uh, is not very good. It's very situational. No, not gonna use it. Not like I was gonna use Spirit Summons anyway this playthrough, but... Even then, I still wouldn't use that one. Uh... There are some cool functions to it, though, but still no. Uh, okay. I have that. Uh, I want to go here, so I can go up here. There is a boss that I want to fight. Really cool Ash of War. Alright, let's go. Trying to think. This is a fine weapon to use. I could also do Stormcaller again. I think I'll do that. I just love Bleed Stormcaller, man. It's so fun. It's so fun. The boss I'm gonna fight is a painful one. Not because it's like terribly hard or anything, it's just annoying. It's annoying to a lot of no-hit runners, it seems. Like Gino Machino, if you've ever heard of him. He fucking hates these guys. And I cannot blame him. Can't blame him. No, no, no. Cannot. How's my physic? Let's change that to this. Uh, spells fine. Ooh, I should sort that. I don't want, like, half of these. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Oh, should have passed time. Yep, can only find this guy at night time. It's not a bell-bearing hunter, thank God. I hate those guys. I see him. Alright, let's go. Let's go haunts around. Gotta chase him before our buffs run out. Get some big hits on him. Oof, should have rolled. Yeah, that hip check by the haunts. That shit is vicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit right there. You get hit so fucking often by that. It just comes out so fast, too. <laughs> Good storm called, idiot. Alright. So that's why I went for the extra stamina. Mm. And then we get a really good Ash of War. I love Ice Spear, man. Ice Spear is so nice. Oh. Love Ice Spear. It does so much good staggering. 
it's almost like a re- impaling thrust from range in terms of PvE. And then <laughs> with Frostbite. It's so good on Twin Blades. I'm actually going to infuse my uh, Twin Blade with that right now. Yeah. Ice Spear, heavy, beautiful. Let's give that a look now. Uh, where is it? Nice. And now I'll check it. So nice. It is a... You can use it close range because it has a hitbox when you use it like that. If they're like standing in the spin, they get hit. And of course they get hit by the, uh, the Ice Spear itself. You want to use it kind of close range for that reason. And also because, well, when you stagger them, you want to get the DPS on them. And of course I can put Blood Flame Blade on it too, which is very cool. Of course this grace also allows us access to... All of this. It's not the only way up here. There's a way up here over here. And there's a spirit spring somewhere over here that you can get up here. A lot of cool stuff up here, but that'll be for next episode. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun with all of this stuff. What do we got? A lot of twos. Oh, I need more threes. I need more threes for the uh, Militia Saw. Been having so much fun with that. Probably gonna mess around with Ice Spear Twin Blade for a while. I can't get enough Twin Blade. It's my favorite weapon class in the game. It's so much fun. Great hammers are close though. They're real close. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.